Good morning, class. Miss Tiffy here. Now we are going to continue from our previous lesson on natural disasters. Okay, but first, let's play a little game. Can you tell me what is that picture? What is this? So this is we call it a volcanic so what is volcanic eruption in Malay? Do you still remember? So do you remember what is volcano? Okay, now I want you to open your textbook page 106 okay and we're going to read together about what is a volcano okay follow teacher a volcano is a mountain with a large opening at the tip through which gases and lava are forced out into the air Volcanoes happen because the earth is hot inside. The heat gets too hot and erupts lava through the opening of the volcano. Okay, so what is volcano? So you got the volcano ni is a mountain, okay, with a large opening. Maksudnya ada opening yang besar at the tip dekat puncak tu which gases and lava are forced out dipaksa keluar ni Gas, gases and lava dipaksa keluar ke udara okay volcanoes happen kenapa because the earth is hot inside okay sebab dia panas earth is very panas hot so dia pun ter keluar lah Okay, and then the heat tu, it gets too hot. So, dia akan erupts. Dia akan keluarkan lava tu through the opening of the volcano. Okay, like this here. Okay, we call that lava. Alright, so lava tu dia erupts. Dia keluar daripada puncak bukit tu. Puncak mountain tu. Alright, so we call it a volcano. Right, so for today, we are going to learn three volcanoes, okay, from all around the world, okay. So these three pictures are volcanoes yang kita boleh jumpa di seluruh dunia, okay. So we have mountain number one, Mount Saint Saint Helens. Number two, Mount Pinatubo. And number three, Mount Vesuvius. Okay, now take out your pencil or pen, then open your textbook, page 106. Okay, and then you are going to listen to teacher and read. Are you ready? Number one, this is Mountain Saint Helens. Okay, look at the picture. Tu ialah gambaran when Mountain Saint Helens erupted. Maksudnya dia meletus. Okay, so let's read about Mountain Saint Helens. Mountain Saint Helens in the United States erupted in 1980. The eruption was the most spectacular ever seen. A cloud of ash that grew 6,000 meters tall covered the sky. The volcano exploded sideways and traveled up to 30 kilometers away. The eruption killed 57 people. Okay, so they the Mountain St. Helens ni is in the United States. Okay, in US and dia erupted meletus in 1980 okay so dikata the eruption ni was the most spectacular maksudnya spectacular ni yang sangat menakjubkan kenapa because a
cloud of ash that grew 6,000 meters tall. Dia kata ni, asap-asap daripada volcano tu, dia membesar setinggi 6,000 meters. 6,000 meters. Awak bayangkan, it's like 15 times of KL Tower. Tinggi tak? Is it tall? Can dikata the volcano exploded sideways. So ini dia meletup dan dia travel up to 30 kilometers away. So lava yang exploded from the mountain dia travel. Okay, dia mengalir sejauh 30 kilometers away. Jauh tu. It's like from Next is Mount Pinabuto. Okay, let's read. Mount Pinabuto, located in the Philippines, erupted in 1991. It was the most devastating of the 20th century. An ash cloud could rose 40 kilometers high. Ash in mid-air made it dark during the day and caused the temperature to fall. Hundreds lost their lives and thousands lost their homes. Okay, so kata, Mount Pinabuto ni located in the Philippines dan dia erupted in 1991. So, dia kata, it was the most devastating. Sangat menyedihkan. Okay, kisah ni sangat menyedihkan because an ash cloud ni could rose 40 kilometers high. Dia kata selepas volcano ni erupted, the ash cloud, okay, asap tu naik setinggi 40 kilometers high. And dia menyebabkan mid air made it dark during the day. Maksudnya, asap-asap ni sampai menyebabkan suasana sangat gelap and cause the temperature to fall. Maksudnya, menyebabkan temperature di sekeliling untuk jatuh. Sebab apa? Ha, do you know? Leave your comment in the below. Okay? And then, dia kata, hundreds lost their lives. So, hundreds orang kehilangan nyawa. And then, thousands lagi, dia orang kehilangan rumah atau tempat tinggal. one is Mount Vesuvius. Okay, follow teacher. Mount Vesuvius in Italy is the active volcano in Europe. It erupted in AD 79 and buried a city called Pompeii. People had little time to escape which meant thousands died as they ran away to save their lives. Archaeologists found remains of people and animals under the thick of ash. So, maksud dia, dia kata, Mount Vesuvius is in Italy, is the active volcano in Europe. So, dia erupted in 79 tahun masihi and buried, buried ni apa? Tertanam a city called Pompeii. Okay, look at the picture. So, tu lah contoh. That is the example of Pompeii yang buried by the volcano. Okay, so dia kata people had little time to escape. Maksudnya, orang-orang penduduk dekat sana, dia tak cukup masa untuk melarikan diri. So, dia menyebabkan, so which meant thousand dies. Okay, so thousand of them dies when they try to run away. And then, dah lama kemudian, archaeologists, they found, they jumpa remains of people and animals under the thick of ash. Diorang jumpa ni, orang-orang uh, dan binatang, dia apa, tertanam di bawah ash. Ash apa? Uh, Asap-asap yang tebal, debu-debu yang tebal yang datang from Mount Vesuvius. Okay? Do you understand three of the volcanoes that I have mentioned? Now, before...
Before we end our lesson, I want you to get your exercise book and pencil for your exercise. Today's homework, I want you to look at the video again and complete this table. Okay, you write this in your book and then you go back to the video or read your textbook page 106 and you fill in the blank okay all right that is all for today you can click the here to watch teacher's last video on natural disasters or you can click on the link in the description box on how you can make your DIY volcano simple only all right and then you can click here to subscribe teacher's channel.